Is he still running, John? Here he goes. He's got it, and he's swimming. And there he goes. Locomotive. Well, here's your bunker right up here on the surface. Here's your locomotive. He's got it. There he goes. Tell me when, cat. Is he on it? Because I just saw a oh, bunker. Oh, he's on there. Well, that's my there bunker on the top. Go ahead, go ahead John. Don't that's my bunker. Tight. Don't wait till it goes real tight. Then come home. Hit him. You got him. Real, John. Real. Real on him, John. Real on him. Oh, oh, there we go. There you are. Oh, man. We'll put him back in here. Woo! Come on to daddy. We're in the... Woo! Wow, Big Ridge! Woo! This may be the one we've been looking for right here. I hope here. so. We're up here in City Island. Woo! We're using live and chunk bunker. Wow! For some big cow bass up here at City Holy Island. Holy smokes, I can't even turn this one here. Whoa! Well, for execution light, Hard Island, Davis Island, there's a lot of big fish up here. Even in July Ooh, and August wow. will be all summer. Look at, what do you got? look at them on top of the up water. Top. You got them there, John? Woo! And that's what we're doing on today's show with John DeCuffer from Jack's Bait and yeah. Tackle. Wow. Coming up for you right up to this monster bass in City Island Ooh. right here on the fish line. We'll be right back. Look at this thing go, Big Rich. All I want to do is see this fish. <laughs> Woo! All right, folks, celebrating our second decade, it's time for the Northeast Premier Fishing Show, The Fishing Line with Rich Johnson. The Fishing Line is brought to you by Boaters World, boating and fishing for the world, Boaters World. And by the Outdoor Channel, real outdoors for real people, the Outdoor Channel. Also brought to you in part by Bomber Lures, tie one on. Silver Thread Line, performance technology line. Yum Baits, start a feeding frenzy. Daiichi Hooks, the world's sharpest hooks. Yamaha, when you want the best. And by LIPA, the power of change. Does this look familiar? Try shopping at Boaters World. Everything for boating, for fishing, for better times. Boaters World. Deep, deep discounts on over 20,000 marine products. Hey folks, you've been coming to the FishingLine.com site for years for the only up-to-the-minute fish reports on the web. Now get the same great reports 24 hours a day by telephone. That's right, the new Fishing Line report line is up and running, and best of all, it's free. No membership fees, no pay-by-the-minute fees, it costs you nothing. A free phone call for the best updated reports 24 hours a day, all by phone. Call 516-977-2088. 516-977-2088. The Outdoor Channel is the channel you've been waiting for. We bring you the real outdoors with hours of hunting action each and every day. If real outdoor entertainment is what you're looking for, then you need the Outdoor Channel. Call your cable provider to let them know that you want the only real outdoor network, the Outdoor Channel. Yamaha's new 250 horsepower four-stroke delivers everything you want in an offshore outboard. Its unique variable camshaft timing and electronic throttle valve deliver breathtaking torque, powerful acceleration, smooth trolling, and exceptional fuel efficiency. All wrapped up in Yamaha's legendary four-stroke turn-the-key reliability. Everything you want, and then some. Today's show takes us to the Execution Light Area in western Long Island Sound between City Island and Hempstead Harbor. Today we're sailing with Captain Dave DeLuca of Skipjack Charters and John DeCuff of Jack's Bait and Tackle in City Island. Another great charter boat handling this area is the Swedish Princess with Captain Steve Fallon from Manhasset Harbor from the Long Island side. Which side are you coming, John? I don't know. We'll see which side he wants, like he wants to go to. Come to. This side. I think he's coming to the right. You can steer ooh, him right, that'll be ooh, good. Ooh, 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 ooh. You have a net? Yeah! Come on. That's the size net you got for these big fish up here. Yeah, we got one at home to be big up. It's a nice fish. Slide him this way, head first here, John. 
That's it. Another nice, nice keeper. Nice. Fifteen pounder. Yeah, nice, big nice red. 12, 15 we got pound him. Fish. Nice job there, John. Woo! Yeah. Right in the lip. Right where you want it to be. Right up there. It just comes. Nice. Gotta love this fishing, baby. Look at that. Comes right out. Eight old, <laughs> eight old Daiichis. Look at that, John. Yeah. Nice looking fish, huh? Look at the fins on him. That's beautiful. We're gonna let him live here. too. Yep. Beautiful. There he goes. Woo! Little schoolie, little 22 inch or 24 inch. That's how hungry these fish are, and that's why we're making the mackerel chunks, small mackerel chunks, because we know that we have smaller fish in here, but at the same time, big keeper fish will take small mackerel chunks as well. I got to bait up. Thank you. Show you exa exactly the size chunk we're using. Not big chunks, just bite sized chunks. See that? Like gumdrops of these fish. So we're here on the slack tide again, just to recap. Slack tide, fish will come up off the bottom, they're suspended on the fish finder. We found them, we went up. This little bit of tide we got left, we went up of them, set the anchor, and we're floating back these small little chunks so they don't sink too fast if the chunk was too big, too small, they come up, but the fish are suspended in a chum slick. And what we do, we got them going, and then once the bite starts, we kind of cut off on the, on the chum and we're really chumming with chunks, not a, a bucket of chum or anything. So we stop the amount of chunks we're putting in the water. That gets them going. If the bite slows up, you go back to putting a few chunks in the water to get them going. And when the bite picks up again, you slack it down again. Well, on today's show, I'm using good style conventional tackle. I love fiberglass for this kind of fish. I don't like graphite for this, but that's my personal choice. And I'm using a Sika BA30-7 or the BA85-7. And the 85 has a little bit softer tip than the 30, which is a stouter conventional reel. I'm using the Induron 400 reel by Okuma. Now you may say, boy, that looks pretty small today, but it's really not. And the Okuma makes drag systems for other high-priced reel companies. So what I'm doing is I'm getting a high-quality reel at a fraction of the price with the same expensive drag system in there. And as you can see from today's show, it was flawless. A beautiful working drag system on this Okuma 400. And I'm using a Silver thread leader material, 40 pound test. It's like a fluorocarbon. It's basically invisible. It's soft. It's a thinner diameter than other leader materials. And on my reel today, I have the silver thread 25 pound test Excalibur fishing line. Phenomenal outfit. It's a great chunking or a great live bait fishing outfit, as you can see from today's show. So let's get back to some of that action right now. And what we're going to do is these fish start to come in and they get very very aggressive. That's why the chunks really aren't even getting out of sight here and the fish are picking it up and running. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this a couple more minutes and we're going to go back to where we started. We're going to go look for some big fish because you can have a lot of fun with this action on these schoolie bass up here behind Execution Light, Davis Island over here, some of the shallow water reefs, Huckleberry Island, Pea Island, CBS Tower, these kind of places. And as the tide picks up and the tide gets hot, stronger and pushes harder, the little fish will start to back off on the chunks and the bigger fish will start to feed. So we're going to go back and fish some of these other areas and see what happens with some bigger chunks. We've got a couple of bunker schools working out here off my shoulder. So we're going to uh, try to snag a few live bunker because that's kind of the key up here lately. It's been live bunker with big bunker heads or chopping the back half off. It's almost as if a bluefish came up, took the back half of the bunker, the bunker drifts to the bottom and these big bass have nice easy meals. So we're going to do that. We'll give this about another five minutes, but we're probably going to end up making a move and going back to where we started, looking for more current, more tide and bigger fish. There he is! Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright! 
Hey, fishermen! For the most comprehensive reports and fishing information on the Internet, log on to www.thefishingline.com. Thefishingline.com has fishing reports for boats, surf, freshwater, or party and charter boats for Long Island's tri-state area. Now you can listen to the Fishing Line radio show live on the web, Saturdays at 4 p.m., or see video clips of the TV show. Know where they are, not where they were, with thefishingline.com. What you need to know in fishing, it's www.thefishingline.com. I love it here, the sand, the water, and it reminds me of how precious our natural resources are here on Long Island and how we must preserve them for future generations. Simple steps like shutting off lights, turning down the air conditioner, and buying products with the Energy Star label, along with supporting the use of alternative energy sources, will help ensure a beautiful Long Island. LIPA. More choice, better service. This, uh... there. There you go. Here we go. Oh, nice, oh, Rich. That feels like... Bring oh. your line in, JR. Bring your line in, JR. Oh, hold them up, Rich. That's it a feels cow like nice there, fish. baby. Oh, no, Rich. Woo! Oh, baby, here we go. Come on. Get that nervous bonk. He gets real twitchy. Then you feel a couple little bumps. And then the, you're off to the races here. Come on, baby. Let's see what we got here. Come I on. got a fish on it. Nice That's a nice fish. fish. Yeah, baby. Whoa, yeah. Come on, baby. Oh, he's running now. Come on. That looks like a nice 25 pound fish there. Got a nice view of him there. I know I got to my drag set right where I want it. Come on, come on, come on. Shaking his head. Shaking his head. Come on. Here comes a shadow. Look at that. That's what we're talking about, baby. Oh, that's 25. Easy 30. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to steer him into you, Pete. Step back. Yeah, there's your shot. There's your shot. Nice job. There you go. That's, that's 25 pounds right yeah. there. Whoa, baby. There's your lunker. Woo! Nice fish, Rich. And this is, what, this is what I'm talking about, folks, if I can get a good view of him here for you. I see you under the plate so you don't touch the gills. See, I'm coming up under here. Come on. This is what I'm talking about. Look where that Daiichi hook stuck him in the corner. Look at it, right in the roof of the mouth. You can't get a better hook set than that. Look at that. Oh, man. Hold that one oh, up, man. Rich. That's nice. And look at nice this. Nice fish. Pop that right out of there. Just, that's what I'm talking about. Look right in that mouth there. Look at that. It's exactly what, look, look at that beautiful hook set. An 8 0. Laichi Octopus D18Z. Look at that fish. Oh! That's what I'm talking about, baby, John. Nice, Rich. That's 25 right there. Nice. We're going to release him here for you folks to go up to City Island and get him yourself. Look at that. Come on. Oh, there he goes. Woo! Yeah, baby! Big job! Nice, Rich. That's what I'm talking about, nice baby. Fish. City Island nice. Lunkers. Big Bunker, a single 80 Daiichi, about an inch behind the head. I felt that fish get nervous. You got to run off, John? Yeah, there's something to I something felt that fish get nervous, a couple of bumps. And the line's here, but he was actually over here. So you got to maintain contact with the line and let that fish go around. And as I reeled in tight to get the line tight, and I felt that big thump, almost like a big codfish, that's when I set the hook and he was off to the races. Oh, baby. It's time for our tip of the week, brought to you by Boaters World, boating and fishing for the world. Now, the last big fish I caught, folks, look at this. You can see that's a slight, tiny little fray in the line. This week's boaters tip, when you're looking for big fish, I got a fray here, I got a fray right here. You replace the entire leader. Just don't shorten up. Just replace the entire leader. I'm using about a five, five foot leader. You feel those tiny little frays in there, and I don't even know if you can see that. That is tiny. You replace your leaders when you're supposed to, you're going to put big fish in the boat. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting for him to come to a stop if I can before he spools the line. They usually take it, they run, they'll stop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to gonna put it, if he comes to a slowdown, I'm gonna put it in gear, I'll crank it into slack, 
maintain bottom contact and set the hook and again and again there's no such thing as setting the hook too hard on a big jaw of a bass you may come up behind the boat there's a nice fish again John up oh, now he's now he feels the, now he feels the, the line there we go there we go come on another reason I like glass rods for this because when that fish surges and I actually like monofilament better than braid when I'm chunking particularly in shallow water or if I'm using live bunk as well because sometimes you get these big fish and they make that big surge right at the boat sometimes a mono is what saves you because there's no there is stretch here we come nice another bags, nice Rich. another 20 pound fish that looks bigger than 20 pounds so Rich. I like the mono for this because when that fish makes a big surge run at the end there I got the mono give me a little bit of stretch I'm using a 25 pound test silver thread today there's a nice fish that's than oh pounds. man, that's 25 again. <laughs> the fish finder is loaded with giant bass here. under the boat. This is probably one of the smaller ones on this reef here. Oh man, look nice. at that. Huh? Cow bass on City Island. Man, look at him shake his head. Oh man. I'm gonna, gonna slide him in right over here, Pete. I'll slide him right into your go. net. Here we go, you ready? Yeah, baby. Beautiful, man. Beautiful Another 25. Rich. Oh, baby. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hot action on a hot summer day. You don't have to have October weather and 55 degrees to catch big stripers. This action of City Island goes like this. As long as you got bunky here, you got some nice fish. Come on. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And I should be able to get that one right. It just pop it right out. He had it way down. The top is don't look at that. Oh, not Woo. a big one, big rich. Oh, baby, <laughs> 25. Yeah, I'm putting this one back for you folks, also. I can't get locked up. <laughs> we find that fish nice. Look at that, his fins are up. He wants to get his tail. I'm probably gonna get a face full of water, but it's certainly well worth it. Captains and guides have known for years, the blood red color triggers a natural feeding response in fish. Fish ignore popular colors, but they can't resist taste testing the bleeding bait color. Now you can add the world's sharpest hooks and the natural feeding response in fish with Daiichi's bleeding bait hooks. In tests across the country, Daiichi bleeding bait hooks outfished ordinary hooks as much as 3 to 1. Whether you're worming for bass or chunking stripers, outfish your friends with Daiichi bleeding bait hooks. Folks, Rich Johnson here. I've used Seeker rods on TV and in my personal use for years now. Why? Because they help me catch big bass, blues, fluke, and other game fish. Seeker fishing rods are handcrafted here in the USA with advanced technology and performance, all guaranteed with a lifetime warranty, so why settle for less? Seeker has 25 years rod building experience, and take it from me, inshore or offshore, and now surf fishing, Seeker is the rod for you. Find Seeker rods at bait and tackle shops or on the web at www.seekerrods.com. Hey folks, you've been coming to the FisherLine.com site for years for the only up-to-the-minute fish reports on the web. Now get the same great reports 24 hours a day by telephone. That's right, the new FisherLine report line is up and running and best of all, it's free. No membership fees, no pay-by-the-minute fees, it costs you nothing. A free phone call for the best updated reports 24 hours a day, all by phone. Call 516-977-2088, 516-977-2088. To the other corner because they seem to be hooking up on this corner. Oh man, this one wants to go, boy. You got a 20 on there, John? I would say it's in the 20 or 30 pound class. She's we'll not see. showing herself, so we'll this is a big I, fish. Oh, I just had a hit. I just had a hit again. Keep him going that way, John. I got a fish right, running here. Oh. Keep him out from behind the boat. Go to the side. There you go. Woo. 
John, you gonna be on your own the land this one? Cause I got a run off here. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Another 20 pounder. Healthy fish. Woo. Look at the shoulders on these fish, man. They're beautiful. These fish have back, shoulders, baby. I got a Look rocket ship taking right off, up. Dave. Okay. Good going, Rich. Good day. And he's going away from the boat. He stopped. You got him, Petey. Great day. Those, these bass have shoulders on them. Wow. Nice. Pretty fish. You got him, Big Rich. Oh! Yeah. Ooh. Get him out, Rich. Get him out, Get him out of the rocks, Rich. Whoa. <laughs> Nice. Get him back, revive him good. Get him in there, Petey. Oh, this is a big fish here, John. <laughs> On a head, big head. I tell you, the Boy, head's that what thing works. screamed out, man. What's the sound? <coughs> oh, baby. There he goes again. Come on. It's a big fish, Dave. That's about a 40 right there. Hell no, man. He's in the 30s, probably. He's screaming like that. A he took a lot of line. I gotta got fight, fight to get it back. Yeah. He pulled the boat around, so oh. gotta have some kind of a tail. He's coming up to the surface. Yeah, Here he just comes. Keep him coming, Rich. Just keep Come him on, coming. baby. Wow, he's getting ready to Oh, lay he out. is out there. There he is on the surface. Woo! Come hey, on, baby. You had a head of steam when you hit him, Rich. He really did. <laughs> John, man, did a good job putting us on the meet, you and Dave DeLuca here today. We're in, Big Rich. I told you, we are in Cal Country, City Island. You're studying how I'm doing this, right, John? Oh, yeah. I taught, <laughs> right you, every book. I taught you everything you know, Big Rich. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, Ooh, he almost oh, spit it out. Oh, you see that? Get this in. Get, that, he almost get all the rods it. out of the way. Walk back. Walk back. JR, get back. the line out of the water, please. He almost spit that. Did you see him open his mouth oh. on that one? Woo! 30-pound fish right there. Wow. You gotta hold that one up. You get, you get him up. You try to lift him. I'll lift him. Look at that way. fish, baby. Come on. Nice. Look at the head on that. Look at the size of that fish. Pete, don't worry. Step back, step back, step back. Look at that. Beautiful. Woo! I'll get him, I'll get that's him. That's about 35 pounds. Oh, no, that's not. That's 30 pound fish. I don't know about that. Oh! Watch your back, Rich. Whoa, boy! <laughs> That's Ooh. over 30, baby. Nice. Oh. Nice fish, Rich. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy, that is Ooh. 35 pounds. Look at that. That's a big that fish. That is a monster fish. Look at the colors on oh. that fish. Nice, Rich. Oh, baby. Man, are we in the land of the giants land here. Land of the cow, City Island. Nice, Rich. All right, we're going to rig up. Man, oh man, see if we can't look at the tail drag in there. Look at that fish. Oh, baby! That's what I'm talking about in City Island. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. I'm nice gonna have to fish. cut him out. He swallowed that all the way. You can just cut the line there, Pete. Persistent pays, Rich. Persistence pays. You Beautiful. didn't want to give up, and you hung in there. John, the cover, baby. Big Rich. 35. Big fish. 35, man. Big fish. We're going to release nice, him Rich. for our viewers to come up to City Island and take a trip with Davey and see if they can catch one like this. Uh, ooh. Ooh, Lord. Oh, uh, yeah. Buddy, Rick. Just give a little twitch, Rich, as it's sinking. Uh, they get a flash out of it, they'll come over to it. Easy, John. Easy, John. Let it sink, though. Let him go if he's got to go. I'm pulling against him. Give it a run. Oh, man, that thing's got a tail on it. That's how they swim, John. Woo! Big tail. Welcome back, John. He's going to the back. Welcome back. I got him. Nice. There Ooh. we go. That's a freight train, Dave. Here we go on a whole bunker. Wow. Another 20 pound in there, John? That's 25, Big Rich. John, everything in City Island's big, right? But I don't know about everything that. Everything on City Island is big, including the big stripe. <laughs> you got him? Beautiful. Hit, yeah, nice. you still got him on here now. Okay. 20 pound fish, 22 pounds. Woo! He's got right. a beautiful tail on it. Walking on you, wait till it goes tight, Rich. Follow your line. Wait till it goes good and tight. Might be right under the boat, which he is. He's going to the right. Let him go. Get ready to hit him. Hit him. Hit, hit him, him Rich. Oh, yeah. Good on him. Hit him again. Oh, yeah. 
We got constant action. He spit that one again. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he just oh. hit it at the surface. He's got it. Reach, open it up. Open up. Oh, that was a big oh, one. Oh, he too. came right up for it. He's, he's is he there now? After. Yeah, there he, he is. There he goes. There he he goes. just goes. swam away with it. Yeah. Man, oh man, he came up and followed it all the way to the surface. <laughs> and I was still freight training it. Whew. Give me your head on there, uh, Pete. Right, no Here we go. Come here. There we oh. go. I got him that time. You got him. Wow. Woo, baby! It's alive! <laughs> <laughs> there he goes, there he goes, John. It's alive! See, that's why you have to pay attention. If the fish takes a whole bunker and you get a runoff and he comes up and he spits it out, you have to pay attention because he's following it or somebody else will follow it. And that's what happened. That bunker, after being spit by one fish, was only a foot or two. It was actually, we could see the big bass come up. This fish, we saw him come up a foot or two below the surface, swirl on it, and take off on it. We don't know if that was the original fish or not. Could have been, but the fish is stacked up here on this piece, oh. real thick. Here we go. There he is, back Ooh, behind the boat. Another nice fish. Oh Rich. yeah. There's another fish following him too. There's two fish right here. See, right, paired together. There he goes. Come on. Give me the head. He's right behind him. There's a second fish right there. Come you on. can see the two of them. Right under him. See, he's looking for the bucket. There it is. Throw the chunk in there. Look at this fish. This fish, Oh, yeah. Woo! Man, oh, man. I'm over here, Rich. Oh, nice fish, Big Slide them into you, Pete. Got him? There we go. There's 25 right there. That's what I'm talking that about. Looks like close to 30, that might be close Big to 30. Rich. You're right. We gotta. Actually, I might be able to get it out here. Hold Mr. Gordon. Get his White ones. Make sure they got line on. I'm trying with this. I just about got it. There we go. Got it. Look at that, man. Here you go, Rich. Woo, baby. That is close to 30 pounds, if not, John. Nice. John DeCuffer. Nice fish. Thanks for being a guest on the show today. I appreciate you Thank bringing you us up here. Rich. Thanks to Dave DeLuca on the Skipjack 4 and our mate P here today. And My son, Big yeah, fish yeah. up there on City Island. Man, come up here and do it. They'll be here July, August, September, October, again in the fall. Big hot chunk in action and live bunker here in City Island. Thanks for being with us here on the Fish Line. We'll see you next week in your own backyard catching monster fish like this. New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, wherever you happen to be is where we are. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next week. Let's put him back in here, John. Uh, get him. Oh, that's easy, easy, big fella. Easy there. To add the uncut, extended copy of this program to your library with unseen catches and captain's interviews, just follow the directions on the screen. The Fishing Line with Rich Johnson was brought to you by Boaters World, boating and fishing for the world, Boaters World. And by the Outdoor Channel, real outdoors for real people, the Outdoor Channel. Also brought to you in part by Bomber Lures, tie one on. Silver Thread Line, performance technology line. Yum Baits, start a feeding frenzy. Daiichi Hooks. The world's sharpest hooks. Yamaha, when you want the best. And by LIFA, the power of change. We'll see you next time on The Fishing Line. So long, everybody.